go to the first tab. Now remember when you when you enter the time, there's a couple different uh, items that uh, you can consider. There's a time tab over here. And if you go into this, you can set up and I won't go into this again because we talked about it in the first month, but access your premium time tracking and this will help you track your time for employees much more in-depthly. You can get like notifications on where your employee is even and whether they're logged in and you can actually kind of, you know, check on, on their location and stuff. So I'm not going to get into this in detail, but you can, you can uh, look into it more here. Uh, and there's a little presentation for it if, if that's an interesting component. What we're going to do is try to just enter the time into the system so that we can then uh, we can then use it to create the invoice. Also, just note that if you go into your, your employees tab or the payroll on the left hand side, and then you were going to go into an individual like Hamilton here, you've got your items up here, which is your quick time. Uh, so you can send them an invite if that if you wanted to set that up and your workforce information to send them an invite here to kind of set that up. So we're going to be entering the time manually on our end, but if you can have them do it on their side and log into QuickBooks specifically for that purpose, you know, that's a system that you can look into as well.